Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo and happy fourth anniversary for Planet Zoo. Or is it their third? Happy third anniversary or fourth, really. At this point, this game has made it into my life so much that it feels like I never had a time without it. Today, we were revealed to have the beautiful anniversary animal being the collared peccary. Look at these guys. So I figured today we could kind of just go through their Zoopedia and stuff, kind of check out where they live, where they interact with. Looks like we got a really awesome animal this time around. I was expecting something from like India or Asia, like the black buck, but uh, no, we got some really awesome North American and South American representation this time. These guys live in a whole wide variety of biomes from the deserts to tropical to grasslands, even to temperate. And that's just a really, really awesome thing to have. Uh, beyond that, you guys can see pretty much everything else that is in here because this guy is in your games right now. With the anniversary update, we got these guys. We also have the uh, balloon shop, uh, Looney Balloons. Yeah, so if I place those guys in here and if I open the zoo, I think I gotta put like the entrance and stuff. And I think if we do it correctly, we should be able to get guests in here so we can check out those balloons. But look at these guys. So yeah, Collared Peccary is probably one of the best animals we could have gotten because, I don't know, I always think that like swines, pigs, anything like that, I know peccaries technically aren't pigs, but listen, they're just little piggies to me. But I think that this stuff is going to be really, really awesome just for being able to flesh out your zoos a bit more. Typically, pig exhibits aren't really the most stunning thing in the world. Usually, they're kind of like an inter usually they're kind of like an intermediary animal that you kind of just throw in areas where like, oh, we have an open habitat here. Let's just uh, throw these little piggies in there. Why not? It's the same case at San Diego as it is at the Stone Zoo in Massachusetts. Like, it's just a thing that, you know, pigs are kind of destined for. But the model itself is so beautiful. Let's slow this guy down a little bit more so we can check out the details while he's still running and stuff. But look at that. They have so much detail in here. Everything from like, you know, the beautiful tufted ears to like those really, really awesome bristles on the back. It's a really, really awesome model. And they have a whole wide variety of different variation too. They also have little baby models, which are the cutest thing in the world. There are, I want to say, three other species of peccary. Uh, there's the white-lipped, we have the, which one is this? It's collared? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of other peccaries out there that I'm sure we're going to get in mod form. And the best thing about, like, those very similar animals is that they're going to stay in line with the rest of this look over here. The Chacoan peccary is one I'm very excited for. But this one is so freaking beautiful even like the little hair on their rump back there really really awesome stuff these guys are stunning and they even have an albino form it always makes me happy whenever there's like an albino form or any other color morphs because they really do show off just how beautiful these animals can really be and i don't know i just really really do like them they're just goofy little guys you kind of see like the bristles on the bottom of the face right there really really awesome attention to detail right there by frontier those employees over there are just some of the best ones we've seen in the industry for animals specifically it's really really cool now, of course, it is a little silent today because of the fact that there have been frontier layoffs. I didn't really want to dive into this in its own video. I thought that'd be kind of, uh, rude? But I would just like to let you guys know there have been frontier layoffs, or there has been talk of it at least. Some of those familiar faces that we usually see on the streams or see in their work on Planet Zoo might not be with the company anymore because of some choices on the company's part. Uh, I can talk at whim for all that stuff, but I'm going to choose not to today. But regardless, I'm going to say that their work is much appreciated. And I think that the entire community very much appreciates everything that they did for this game and for the community itself. If you guys are fans of like Bungie games, you're probably seeing the same thing in their industry right now, which is awful it's like quite literally awful but at the end of the day we're just consumers we vote with our wallet and it's really up to you guys how you want to take this situation but at the end of the day i also love zoo games and planet zoo will continue to be one of my absolute favorites you know, I really don't know what I'm trying to say over here, but that's kind of a little tangent I wanted to go on. Let's look at interspecies enrichment. Uh, so they have interspecies enrichment with the bison, 
giant ant eater, capuchin monkey, I believe the capybara, uh, and the llama. Only reason I say I believe the capybara is because I have the mod that has it be have like interspecies enrichment with everything. So like you can see the Chilean flamingo has it with them. Kind of funny stuff. And the Chinese pangolin. But yeah, just a really solid animal all around. I can't wait to build for these guys. It's going to be so freaking fun. Uh, I already have an idea for a diorama for these guys. Nothing too crazy. They are going to be in uh, San Cabrillo Zoo, obviously. Uh, probably going to have a very good section in there. Or at least like something representative of the one that they have in real life. Um, and yeah, that's... That's really it. I'm surprised they don't have interspecies enrichment with the pronghorn because they're like, they do overlap in that little area, that little pocket right over there in North America. Not really sure about that, but still, I ca I'm kind of happy with this. All right, I'm trying to figure out why they're not taking the balloons, but you know what, Johnny, put up a picture of the balloons. They're nothing too crazy, they're just kind of cool. But I'll tell you what, that is it, my friends, for today. Keeping your eyes posted for whatever the speed build is that I'm going to do soon. Really can't wait for you guys to see that. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much. Be sure to send Frontier, well, send the Planet Zoo team their love on Twitter or Facebook, Instagram, whatever you guys have. Just let them know that you guys are, you appreciate everything that they do because I'm sure right now they could hear it. Uh, I'm going on a really big tirade on this, aren't I? Oh well, have the most wonderful of wonderful days. See you all in the next video. Take care and bye bye